violence in the street. There's violence in the street. There's violence in the street. There's violence in the street. Through the headline trivia, stunts and scandals. Hunt of the press. Hey, look at the games on this gal. They keep going up, 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 just like the stock market, you see? To get to the bottom of this cadaver, your host, Lou. And Al. What time is it? On Tuesday? We're, uh, we're, we're recording. Re- we're recording, yes. Yeah, I'm talking to you, bro. Yeah, you're talking to me, I'm talking to you, and that's uh, that's what's going on here. Hopefully, it's, you know, we get something good. So, so uh, let's get right into the brass facts, man. Fucking uh, Corona. Corona H1N1. H1N1 Corona virus. It's not. It's COVID nineteen. Yeah, that's what they say. Because um, that's you no, know, you know, Corona. Like the beer company was like, "Bitch, you gotta stop slandering her name with the this bronchular fucking virus." Like, like we're about beaches and good times, and you're fucking this up with with coughing. So yeah, they yeah. go COVID. That was a marketing. Yeah, yeah. It's like a hundred percent Corona. Like the beer company was like, you, you gotta stuff this. Yeah, yeah. We need to change it, right? We yeah, yeah that's where corona. that first started. So like the first denial started with the Corona company. Yeah, yeah. They're they're so amazing. as usual. The first people to blame for things are the Mexicans. <laughs> exactly. If you're gonna blame anybody for any viruses? Goddamn Mayans. It's the Mexicans again. That they're but let's be serious. I love tacos, and you can't hate on the Mexicans because, like, they wanted to predict the end of the world, and they they even fuck that up. Like, they, they can fuck up a good taco, but they can't fuck up the end of the world. Like, they were like, "Oh, the Mayan calendar." Yeah, yeah when but guys were measuring things with fucking sticks and sta- and sand. I think they're trying to prove that calendar right. I think they're like, if we're if we're okay, it wasn't twenty twenty, right? But if we're, if we're within like twenty thirty years, we can still be close. Yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. So they're yeah. still working. Maybe on they're trying to like, yeah, 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 fulfill like, that prophecy. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's a couple lizard worshipping Mayans left that are like, you know what? <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, we we'll self prescribe this prophecy. Because I do feel like we're on the precipice of d- d- distinction, not distinction. Uh, um, distinction. It, no, not not no. You're no. making a very distinct comment right now. I that want was to see where you're going comment. with this. I was saying destruction. Yeah, I was thinking destruction. We're on the precipice I said, of destruction. We're on the precipice of destruction, not yeah, distinction. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're we're extinction. Maybe I was thinking extinction. Yeah, yeah I do feel like we're that. in the final chapters of the Bible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is um, <laughs> we're in the final chapters of the, like the four horsemen. Like yeah, we're, we're in the final chapter. We've right? passed Leviticus. Leviticus, yeah, yeah, and we're way past Genesis. Genesis, we're, we're we're in full fledged like like the you you bury your kids in the attic. Yeah, this is Revelation shit, right? Yeah, here. this is Revelation. The four horsemen are coming. But you know, I think um, but like I think Revelations like it's still um, it's not not real, but it's not real if you're not religious. I don't know. You'd have to say that again. That's just a confusing. It's story. not not real. But it is a hundred percent not real if you're not religious. Yeah, not like it's not real. Like things are happening. That's yeah. real. Yeah, and it's and it's the word of God. Like that's what's happening. Well, the, the word of God is is left to interpretation. Not if you're not if you're a Catholic. But schools canceled, eh? School's canceled. No more data science. <laughs> no more data science. No more daddy science. Eh? No more daddy science. What do you do? Like, like, and like everything's suspended. Like all your, like, like it's just, it's just fucking freshman week every week right now. Yeah. So we. I feel like there's going to be a lot of good keg parties. I don't know. I think everyone. I think I don't know. I think the like. I think, I'm too old for keg parties, but I still want one. I don't know. I don't know what the college kids are doing and what they find cool and shit and still. But I, I do think. But that, like your school shut down, like Durham shut down. Yeah, like it's locked. You can't even walk inside. Of can't your, even go in there. Yeah, you know, can't even go in. Like there. a janitor can't even clean up some H one N one. No, no, you can't. H one N one. You can't even mop it up. You can't, you can't mop it up. But that, that's an old. That's the old one, eh? I yeah, but let's stick to the college. Let's stick to the Corona. College 
Let's stick to the culture. COVID. Side. Like, you can't get in there. You can't get your education that you pay $15,000 a fucking semester for. No, no. So what they're doing right now, they're going to modify. Like, you're, you're not getting, like, a hand job from your fucking. The, the course the, outline and all the course schedules are going to be modified into uh, an online program. So the rest of my courses will be taken up online to save. Like, course to help save. Like, everyone. dumb kids that fucking get kicked out of high school, they have to, like, finish their shit online. Like you're getting treated like 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 a juvenile high school. At least I'm not getting as treated as bad as uh, chaos. He just wants to leave this fucking. Yeah, that, this house. is fucking an audio podcast. They can't see what we're seeing, so keep that out of out, out of the context. I could just keep that I, out of the indexed information. Our dog wants to leave the room, and he's he's looking at me like, "Yo, hey, well, can we leave? That's can not I what leave? we're can they, I leave? Uh, we're trying to get away from this." Well, I don't know. What else do you want to know about the COVID? And, I want to know about the school stuck thing. Inside. I want to know about the school thing. Like, it doesn't bother you at all that you pay. Like, what do you pay for tuition? It was uh, overall. It was like forty. Not 42, overall. What you pay for? Like, 4, what do you pay for tuition? Forty, like forty-two hundred. Yeah. For tuition. Yeah. To now teach yourself online. Well, I'll be. Let me ask you this: Do online. you think? Do you think? Um, because now that you're forced to teach yourself online, do you think that like maybe after this whole, um, o- o- like overdone pandemic? Because it's not a pandemic, but it's like overdone. Do you think when this whole COVID thing's done, that like maybe you're like, I don't need universities. Like I, I could teach myself the same shit, kind of like the same people that are like, I don't have my gym to go to, but I, I guess I could do it at home. And they're figuring out that they could actually do it on their own. They don't need a secondary uh, uh, thing to teach them. Yeah. I, um, what do you think about that? I, I feel like I, the, 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 they helped. They helped. They helped for sure. Who's I, they? The Durham College. They helped with my educational studies. I feel like you and listened I, to nothing. I no, no, no. I, I was listening, and okay. I and I think I got the benefits from showing up and them teaching me over than if, if I wanted to do it on my own. And even when it comes like online, with this, with this, I haven't haven't started. They haven't done anything yet. I haven't looked at one course. Everything is suspended. Okay, so then you have no fucking clue what I'm asking. You. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Everything yeah, is suspended. So you go to listen when people talk to you, and then you get answer the real questions. Of what someone's asking. You can't just tune out for 15 seconds. You're like, oh, this is good air time. There's, there's noise and I'm not talking. You got to listen, bro. Yeah, I listened, man. I was listening. I just got, I, sorry. I would... Yeah, you're just busy, like, like grooming your mustache. <laughs> right back to it. Now your hand is going away from the mustache because you're like, oh, you caught me. Yeah, you're fucking. You're, I'll just groom your the chin. Goat. Yeah, just groom little, the chin, little goat. I guess, then. Your little goat chin strap is not is not doing it either. Okay, so it, it's like since, all over your ass, but not on your face. I mean, Shaved ass have... hair that they glue on their face. Yeah, it's glued on. They're fucking. Yeah, they're okay people. They make a, they, they made a, a good brizola when I was in Cyprus. Uh, I would get brizola, and they it wasn't Greek brizola. What the fuck is a brizola? Brizola is uh, pork. Can you say it again with your hands? It's an audio podcast. Luke. I know, I know, but I want to see the hand motion you make when you say brizola. Brizola, brizola. You gotta brizola. stretch out. Uh, uh, for people that are only listening to this audio, uh, um, the visual is when you say how yeah. do you say it for anyone outside of of our audience that's not chaos. <laughs> yeah, because it's the only it's other person that would see it see it live. It, it, how do you properly say brizola? Brizola. 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 So you it start starts with like okay, yeah, the okay you start sign. Start with the okay sign, and then it, all and the outside fingers, the, uh, for the exception of the index and the thumb that are touching, you curl them in. You you make you start with the O, like yeah, the okay sign, all curled curled in, and then and then and then on uh when you use forward momentum, yeah, on the on the bur or the zo, brizola on the la. On the la. You spread your fingers. That's on the la you spread your fingers. Yeah. So, so you go Brazola. You go Brazola. Yeah. Brazola. 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 Yeah, yeah. It's spana copita. Not Spanish copita. No, it's not Spanish copita. It's not and Spanish it's... copita. It's spana copita. Yeah. <laughs> and it's Brizola. And it's Brizola. It's Brizola and it's a spana copita. Yeah, if you're not a Momo cocksucker, yeah, that, and that's it, and it's a pork steak. Yeah, everything's a steak. 
Because they don't know how to cook it in Greece. It's a pork steak. Like, with, a, with a oregano, top, garlic. Top three dishes that they fuck up in Greece. Pork well. steaks. Just steak in general. You don't get a lot of beef steak. Beef you can't get steak. a good steak in Greece. No, you can't get a good steak in Greece. I don't think you can get a good steak in the Mediterranean. Yeah, they don't do beef. They don't fuck with beef as much. Eh? It's, it's they chicken. don't like you. If you get beef, it's chicken. It's, it's, it's like pig, uh, it's goat. <clears throat> yeah, like they don't know. They don't know tender meat. Like they'll do a tender whatever lamb, goat. Yeah, like if it's on a spit. They if it's it. on something that, they can, if it's in a position that they can fuck it, they'll cook it. Yeah, that's the, if we can fuck it, we can cook it. That's the Greek cuisine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's that's what makes the meat tenders. They never mind the tenderizing hammer. They fuck it into tender. They fuck the goat before you eat it. That's why the meat's so tender. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's what it, Easter is a goat fucking season. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then that's, you know, um, you know, because they're trying to be politically correct, they don't they don't fuck lambs anymore because that's 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 pedophilia. Interspecies pedophilia. Yeah, bestiality pedophilia. Interspecies pedophilia. Interspecies. You better not have to say bestiality, eh? Well, it's not bestiality like what if it's a crab? You, you, you face fucking crab, then what? That's, I'd consider that beast, bestiality. It's not a beast. Crab's not a beast. <laughs> <laughs> Crab's definitely not a beast. And, but what about the ality part? The ality part is the more ality <laughs> part of it. <laughs> And if you're already thinking about fucking something out of your species, you're Deality. already over. I don't know. Yeah, it's like you, like you, you cross that bridge already. They're all beasts. If you're not a human, you're a beast. Yeah. If you're not a man, you're a beast. Yeah. So a crab's a beast and, and a it, woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, women are fucking beasts. I put I put shellfish and women in the same category. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I, I crack both their crabs. You know what I mean? Yeah, it, it goes. It goes. Woman, then shell. Uh, um, creatures, crustaceans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh, ugh. Then fleas. Sometimes it blows my mind that I enjoy eating pussy. Like I like it, but when you think about all of it, it's gross. Did, was this like I shit out of my asshole? I piss out of my dick. Women bleed out of their pussies, and and God knows what else they're doing. What other things they're trying to conjure out of that magic monkey? I don't, I don't know, but I don't want to be against. Uh, I don't want to be anti cunnilingus. Not anti. I don't want to have an anti cunnilingus message for our audience or. For what, anyone. like you're pro eating pussy like all the time? Yeah, I think, I think you'll eat any pussy. I won't eat any pussy. No. So you're not pro pussy eating. Not any pussy. Yo, no, oh, you, yeah, that's just irresponsible. You need to have. You know what I mean. I, no, I don't know what you mean. Like, will you like if like, you eat pussy, or do you not eat pussy? I eat, I eat pussy, but sometimes you don't eat all. Let the, me ask you, you don't this. you don't eat all the pussies. You gotta, <laughs> yeah, there's yeah, certain yeah. tests, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's certain yeah, tests, yeah. certain checks. Yeah, like 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 you, you eat pussy, but like only like uh, the um, what do you call it? Uh, like the first taste of a menu. Like it's, it's not the main course. Like you eat appetizer and pussy. It's more or less based on smell and area code. And then, and what did that area code? I don't get smell. I understand, but like, um, like, like, yeah, like you're, if you're gonna eat some girl from Nong Kwan, you're gonna eat her pussy. Yeah, maybe she's into like from South Osh, where you're gonna eat pussy. I'll eat Nong Kwan pussy if the girl's into like. If she's like a vegan yoga teacher. I'll eat her pussy. <laughs> yeah, they don't exist in fucking Nonquan. There's no fucking vegan yoga instructors in, in Nonquan. Yeah, you don't know that. But that being it's safe, said, it's a safe fact. It's that like being saying, said, like I am it's like saying like, how many rocket scientists are in Harlem. Yeah, but it's like how many haikus can you write if you don't know Japanese? Like what I'm saying is I'll I'm like, like people are so worried about as like right now during this this COVID nineteen it's the- I go mask off, eat a fucking non quan pussy, mask off, no problem. I'll eat a pussy with an N95 uh, mask, respiratory yeah. mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll just cut a hole for my tongue. <laughs> That's it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. N95 respiratory mask, a little yeah. tongue slit. Yeah. A tongue slit for the slit. But, like, how about this? Do you think that Michael Jackson was the first guy to, to like, black man to walk on the moon? Like, he didn't technically walk on the moon, but he moonwalked. First and only. 
Ain't no, ain't no black man been to space. Like, there's been a black man that's president of the free world. But there hasn't been a black man in space. No black man in space. I don't know. I haven't fact checked it. I don't think there is. There's been, there been a Russian. There's been Russians. There's been a Russian. There's been is yeah. a Russian kind of like a black man. No. 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 They're, but they're they got like a big s- dick. I feel like Russians got big dicks, though. I don't know. I, I, I honestly, I just. I, I've never fucked a Russian, so I don't know. Yeah, I haven't fucked a, a Russian with a penis. <laughs> yeah. Like I fucked a Russian with a vagina, but I've never fucked a Russian with a penis, so I don't know. Yeah, first black man on the moon, definitely um, Michael Jackson, and and and, and the, the fucking greatest thing about that is that he did that while you're still in the United States. Like went motherfucker to the- went to the moon on, in the states on a stage. Yo, let, can I ask you a question? How much do you appreciate a boner? I I always appreciate them. But you like you wake up with one, and it's like a nuisance when you get a piss. No, like do you think you appreciate a boner more than a girl appreciates your boner? Yeah, yeah, probably. Who do you think appreciates a boner more, you or or chicks? I think I think it's me. You know, I live with it. I'm I'm happy for it. And I have to deal with it. But you, like, so you like you appreciate? Do you think you appreciate around. every boner, or you're just kind of like, oh, it's a boner. This boner's are irritating. I get I get excited. I've got excited for every single boner I've had. I've never lost the excitement for my. You've boners. never got non excited. Like you, you've never been irritated about your boner. No, never, no. You never no, woken no. up in the morning having to piss real bad, and then you got like a solid stiffy, and you're like, "Fuck." Then I'll just do a sit down pee, and then it doesn't it doesn't bother me. If How small is your dick? Like when I sit down pee, my shit's hitting the top rim. Like I'm pissing on my inner thighs. No, you just push it against the the porcelain before it touches the water, and you just put your head. Why? Yeah, yeah, my right. head, like the head of my penis, not yeah, the head yeah. of my face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the head of your penis, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't put the head of my face anywhere near the fucking porcelain. No, you put the head of your penis right to the porcelain before it touches the water, and it just it stays. Can right you there. do that? Can you do that outside of a home toilet, though? Well, it's 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 gross either way. Yeah, it's gross, but like. Like, but it, but the it, head of your penis touching the porcelain yeah. of a non-home toilet. Okay, okay. So you if, wake up in a hostel. And are you, we talk- with a, You wake up in a hostel with a heart on, and you gotta piss. Then I just piss. I don't <laughs> like care. I don't care bed? where it goes. I don't in know. Your bunk bed? No, no. Like I get, you don't even make your way to a bathroom. No, I get to the bathroom and I just piss. And you just like whatever. Yeah, whatever. Do you even aim? I just I just pull my pants down and I'll just, and you just I'll pissing. tilt I'll I'll tilt my torso lower. Do you, do you push? You know the what I mean? Down? Yeah. Penis yeah. I try I try to make some things, but if it goes somewhere else, I then feel it like goes with a full else. fledged hard full on, the best place to piss is a sink or the ceiling. But the trick is to run it with cold water. Yeah, you want to run it with the sink. You want to run it with cold water because if you take a piss in the sink and you run it with hot water, it smells. It's fucking so. It's like every it's piss smell. is fucking cauliflower piss. Yeah. And by cauliflower, I mean asparagus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, asparagus cauliflower. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, but like it, it, you, you don't want that kind of um, uh, perspiration. No, you don't. You know, you don't. You don't you want don't that want perspiration. Breathe, you don't want to breathe in that perspiration. Yeah, that perspiration. That fucking make you go blind and. St- It'll definitely scar you, uh, you, you, your your larynx. How much ammonia do you think is in piss? A, like all of the ammonia. <laughs> you think there's a lot of ammonia? I think in that piss? like where scientists get ammonia from is your piss. Is uh, or is it just cat piss? No, cat piss is. Uh, you know, there's ammonia in cat piss. No, I know, but like they they use cat piss to make batteries. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what goes in between the lead in those yeah, little yeah, cells yeah. and shit. That's why it, it's so that heavy. Little lithium strip is in between that lithium strip and metal is cat piss. It's cat piss. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why it's so heavy. Probably it's not. Yeah, it's yeah. not the lead. Yeah, it's the cat piss. That's is, why you can't just throw them in the garbage because they're full of cat piss. <laughs> you ever try to get the the, the stench cat piss out of anything? <clears throat> Yeah, my mouth. <laughs> she was in heat. <laughs> yeah, it's hard. It's hard to do. You can't. You just throw it out. You just throw it out. Hopefully, it's not your mouth. So you, you have the option of throwing it out. So uh, Michael Jackson, first black man to walk on the moon. That Michael is Jackson. You, have you Michael Jackson, seen, first black ever, man. Can you shut up? Have you ever seen a dark player that was in shape? A dark player. A dart. Oh, a dart player. No, no, they don't. They don't. Because like we got to talk about other sports because they cancel all our sports. <laughs> so they definitely canceled darts as well. No, bro, darts is going. And like marbles, some people play marbles. 
<laughs> yeah, this is this is gonna rain havoc on on the competitive international fucking marble league. Yeah, the 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 IMF, International Marble Fund. Yeah, International Marble Foundation yeah. is. <laughs> yeah, this is wreaking havoc on the the IMF. Yeah, International. Do you marble do you Foundation. think after this Corona thing, there's gonna be a recession? Um, when was our last recession? I have a theory that every 30 years we get a recession. Where is that theory based on? Like, you just being fucking drunk or, like, reality? I don't know, because, like, in the 30s we had a recession, and then, um, and then the 60s was still pretty good. So... So that's 30 years, and nothing happened. Yeah, yeah, but then... So your whole, like, idea of this... Okay, so, so from 30 to 80... Okay, it was fifty. So not thirty. It was, years. it was fifty years. So but 50 then, years. and then from eighty. So like, whenever we find out the time frame from whenever this happened to the last time something happened, you could just make that. Because happen. in eighty nine, eighty nine, we had a recession. Yeah. And then two thousand. You sound stupid. Two thousand eight, we had a recession. And then I think another one's gonna happen. And yeah, that's the not same what I'm asking. Time. I'm asking you. Do you think the fact that like everything's put on hold is kind of like the natural thing that'll happen after? Is a recession. It's no? fucking up the global markets right now. Like everything's fucked. Global markets. There's yeah, no yeah. such thing as a global market. It's just called Chinese markets. China, Chinese. No, they're they're, they're China definitely calling the shots, bro. You don't think so? No, they make our movies. Dude, but, you can't speak in fucking like clickbait. You gotta like finish a thought. Don't speak. Don't clickbait me, bro. <laughs> China makes our movies. No, they, expand. They make our movies. expand. Yeah, they, they they took fucking the the crest off of Top Dude, Gun. Go with it, bro. They, they tell me what you know about it. Don't look at me like I'm gonna help fill you out. Okay, well everyone knows about uh, Top Gun Two coming out, right? And, sure. And everyone knows that Maverick wears a fucking uh, Japo flag on his fucking on his bomber jacket. Does everybody know that he wears a Japo flag? Well, they should know if they're if they're true fans, they would know that. I don't know that he wears a Japo flag. Yeah, he's got a Japo flag. All I know is that he hates Japos in the Last Samurai. Anyways, China made him take off the Japo flag on his bomber jacket. You know what it really is, though. Like and, what and what some, what my co-host some... is trying to say is that. Um, if the free money, I'm just saying that the money has changed hands. It used to be a North American thing. Not so much anymore. Yeah. And, and if they have the power to take off a, a patch from, from Tom Cruise, imagine the influence they have over you. That's probably one of the most powerful Americans in North America. And they can take, they can take a patch off his bomber jacket. They can take the Mavericks patch. They can just go go grab it and just rip it right off his fucking bomber jacket. Take that patch right off the the Japo flag. And it's goddamn science. It it's fucking it, it's China versus Scientology. Yeah, and, and what chance? What chance do we have? What chance do we have? Can can we keep our our Japo patches on our bomber jackets? Fucking. They just stripped it from the most powerful man. And that what kind of message? Elon Hubbard that would roll over in his grave right now if he knew what was going on. Uh, Elon Hubbard. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because he's dead. Yeah, but he's a creator of Scientology. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I was thinking He's Musk. the first person to suck Tom Cruise's dick. It was Elon Hubbard. The first blowjob Tom Cruise ever got was from Elon Hubbard. In the cupboard. Yeah. Elon Hubbard in the cupboard, but closeted. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you ever taken a shit on mushrooms? Like psychedelic one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. yeah I, how fucking uncomfortable is that? It was extremely uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. I felt. I honestly felt like I was shitting out with, um, moss. I felt like I was shitting like forest more. forest moss. I bet you, if you ask across the board, like, um, listeners, this is your time to call in because we have no phone lines. But this is your time to call in and tell me about your experience. Your first experience on mushrooms, taking a shit. Not your first time on mushrooms. The first time that you were high on mushrooms and took a shit, talk to me about it. That is a wild experience. Talk to us about it. You don't know. Sometimes you feel like you're shitting moss. Like my bro over here, Mr. Co-host, thinks that he was just fucking shitting out a better world. He's just going vegan with his shits. Or sometimes you just feel like you're shitting out a liver. Sometimes you think you might be shitting out a kidney. It's a, it's a tough call. It was uncomfortable, I can tell you that much. And I was shitting on the- mushrooms is uncomfortable... 
even if it's the most comfortable. I like mean, if you think you're shitting out demons, it's still not good. And taking and, shit on mushrooms, anyone who's ever fucked with psychedelics knows what I'm talking about. Exactly, and you don't know how long you've been there either. No, no, your, your sense of time is all fucked up. You could, you and could, like uh, being on mushrooms, like, like every floor of every bathroom's got to be tiled. Like tiled floors fuck you up when you're taking shit on mushrooms. And I swear to Christ. Every bathroom in the world's got tiled floors. Fuck off with the tiled floors. Have you never entertained somebody high on mushrooms taking this shit? Get rid of your tiled floors. Yeah, just clear white floors. No tiles in between. Yeah. yeah. The tiles are too much. Too many angles. Just pick a solid color and go with it. What do you need? Little stripes and designs and swirls and swiggities through your fucking... You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Would you go down on a porn star? Um, I don't know. It, it, yeah, probably. Like after a shower, like f- like fresh from a scene. No, I wouldn't want to. You know, go down on a cummy pussy. A cummy pussy. Yeah. Well, e- or any anyone that just been used in that fashion. Like a sweaty dick pussy. <laughs> yeah, sweaty. Yeah, if your pussy smells like dick sweat. Then <laughs> Do I don't you know what dick it. sweat smells like? But I get- probably I feel like dick sweat smells like ball sweat's bad. But dick sweat probably just smells the same as like arm sweat. Yeah, but still, I don't. I do don't you think do arm sweat and dick sweat are different? Yeah, I do. I do. I think ball sweat's the worst because it's like the only one that's in that much contact with the asshole. I know, but th- and then your dick is connected to the balls, and th- maybe that's what makes the dick sweat bad. Is that it's the proximity? Yeah, the balls are always rubbing up on the dick. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Yeah, but my dick smells great, but my balls have- are awful. <laughs> yeah, you can't. You can't have a dick without balls. And and because of that, you could have a dick without balls. Yeah, I guess. But it's not. A, it, but it's not a male. But it smells great. <laughs> yeah, dick without <laughs> balls smells great. Hey, baby, I got, I got, I got a ball this cock. Yeah, it smells great, but I, I cry a lot. That's the only benefit of having. <laughs> <laughs> it's really the only benefit of having testicular cancer. Is yeah, that your your dick and junk. Your your fucking three yeah. piece suit down there is is yeah. not gonna uh, smell as bad. Yeah, your vest is all right. Yeah, the yeah. jacket not so good, but the vest is okay. Yeah, the vest is okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but nonetheless, you're still wearing a three piece suit. <laughs> <laughs> if you got a three piece suit on, you're doing okay. The two balls in the dick make it the the three piece, right? Two balls in the dick is any party. You got two balls in the dick. You got yourself a party. <laughs> it's all right if it's a party of one. Just fucking let the, let. It's let not a party of one because you got two balls in the dick. Yeah, it's, it's a party of four, including your, your um, yourself, your other head, your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, eh? This must have been like the most silent um, St. Pat's Day in history. Like, no bars open, no nothing, Corona fucking COVID-19. Why 19? I, I think it's because they made it 18 other times. Because they in made the lab. this virus of drinking age. <laughs> it's a virus of drink. Yeah. Like, this virus is so fucking doing alpha beta shit. Yeah. <laughs> Living the cold joy. It, it, this this virus is only attacking adult immune systems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why we're it's saving the plus. kids on this virus. Yeah, it's yeah. a nineteen plus disease. Yeah, you got the COVID minus nineteen. Yeah, now you're just watching Animal Planet, masturbating too much. No, <laughs> then the kids then the kids are gonna die right now. Kids were kids were living with coronavirus. Yeah, you need some you need some uh, 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 mom's vinegar. That's what would cure that hit those hiccups, bro. I don't have hiccups. Yeah, you got hiccups after. No, you, I don't. You I don't hiccups. have hiccups. I don't have any hiccups. What are you yeah, talking about? You know, your tiny legs you just can't handle the amount of fucking it's fucking tiny legs. <laughs> your this tiny guy... legs can't handle the fucking amount of carbs you eat, bro. You got to bring in tiny legs into an audio. Fucking podcast. legs are of sh- shrunk, you bring bro. In tiny. You have like tiny very legs feminine too. legs. I'm gonna bring in your bald like, spot. Use that. Use that masculine legs. What Honestly, happened? though, the, the, the bald from... spot is distracting. On yeah, on I might podcast, be bald, but I still got fucking legs like a man. I can still fucking. I can still do a squat. I can do everything. These little tiny legs can do everything that your bigger legs can do. They're just, just more condensed, man. Your little legs can do all the things my big legs can do. But yeah. my ball spot can't grow hair back. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. where you win. That's where you win? Because I can't grow hair? But you can grow your legs bigger. 
Yeah, but, but what's the point, man? Are you, I don't why do know. I need that extra mask? Are you just trying to make your, your dick look that big that you're trying to shrink your legs? I don't know, man. I don't know. Is this my a legs, COVID plan? My legs, I'm just covering up my dick Bro, right you now. Bro, you got to so start doing some lunges. It. They gross me out. You're, you have feminine legs and it grosses me out. <laughs> they make me uncomfortable. It right. makes me uncomfortable. I don't like how small they are. You used to be an athlete. Now you're a data science guy? Like, do some squats, bro. No, man. This data science guy can throw down. Yeah, yeah. You can still throw a right straight and knock out a fucking 75-year-old bouncer. But what I'm trying to say is you got to do some squats. 